Not at all. Now, let's have a look at these. Pilots. Pilots for your aircraft. These are all 132. This is a kit one. These four are from a company called Reed Oak. So when you look at them all together, you can see they've all got their different poses and stuff. But it's just how much detail can you actually get in a pilot nowadays. So we'll start off with him here. Now this is the Academy pilot out of the 132 F-18C on it. And we'll take his seat off. Now if you look at this one, I've had to add um, a, a quite a bit of detail to him. Um, in which case when you look, uh, there's a, uh, a piece of uh, nylon uh, cord coming off there, which basically was the wiring into um, his mic in his oxygen mask that come up there. I used tape, I don't know whether you can see um, here, but there's there's tape on his chops, uh, on, on the, uh, on his chops, on his mask there, where I used thin strips of um, masking tape. Now, let's see if I can zoom in. So, I've just got a bit of a blank, there we go. So yeah, so he's got um, straps there. Whoop. I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. Hang on a minute. Let's just move this along a bit so at least I can see most of where we're going with this. Right. <coughs> so here we go. Start again. So yeah, so um, yeah, you can see like the the straps on his oxygen mask uh, where I've painted them there. Um, obviously. Now I've had to add the maps on his legs because they weren't there. They had little bits of plastic card. So all in all, he's um, it, it, you know he, he's not a bad base figure to start off with, but you can um, you can improve on it. And then obviously the decals on his um, bone dome were. Uh, Pistol was a separate item that was coming out of a, another kit. Excuse the noise in the background, but that's my kids all shouting at each other. I do have five of them, four girls and a boy. <laughs> anyway, that's the Academy one. So the next one we'll bring up is um, a Reed Oak one. And now, this, okay, this is French. He's a French hair so They're all shouting at each other now. Um, I do have a busy house. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so this is the French Air Force chap. And when you consider that this is 3D printed, and just look at the level of detail in that, it's unbelievable. I expect him to move. That's how well detailed he is. I really do expect this chap to move. By the way, the seat is 3D printed on this fella. And the seat is done by uh, a guy called Eric Jolly. And he does um, a lot of the update stuff for the Mirage 2000 kit, which which is what this guy is for. Uh, the Kitty Hawk 32 uh, Mirage 2000, that is. And um, when I eventually get this thing, that, that kit done, and these go in it, you know, this is this is just going to add to the uh, the level of detail. So as you can see, he's got a, a pamphlet open, probably a map or something on his leg that's opened up. I mean, the helmet, the, the oxygen mask, you know, the whole lot, even down to the tread on his boots. Um, you know, it's all there. The seat is, is something else as well. Far better than what the kit offers. I'll just go, go a quick look around the seat. So you, and it's smooth. The thing is, the thing's so smooth. As you can see in the light there, you can't see any of the lines. 3D printing does create lines sometimes. It's the same with these pilots. These pilots are 3D printing as well. But then, you know, no sanding. You can, you can wash them. I, I haven't washed the pilot. I've just gone straight in and uh, sprayed him up. But it's just unbelievable. And... 
like I say, the level of detail is just superb, absolutely superb. So with thanks there to Reed Oak and Eric Jolly for supplying us with pilots for our, our 32. Well, Reed Oak do from 32 down to 72. Um, I don't know about Eric, I presume he, he might do some smaller stuff. He could probably rescale it all, but, um, you know, thanks to the pair of them for, you know, making this happen. Now, the other one's from uh, Reed Oak, which is, this is the American uh, for the Super Ornit. Um, I've got a twin seat Super on it. It's the Trumpeter kit. <laughs> God, I don't know. it's the only one that you can buy. Nobody else has done a 32 um, Super. Ornit. Well, I say that Revel did one. Uh, it's a complicated kit. <clears throat> uh, I think it's a bit over engineered, but it, it looks all right. But the trouble is with the Trumpeter one is. Um, some of the things they don't look to 32 scale they look a lot like the dashboard for this this is the the guy that sits in the back the, the wizzo or whatever they call them now and um the dash for the uh with the moving map display for the um super on your two seater uh, looks absolutely enormous but um anyway this is not a kit review this is this figure review so here we are well, here we are we're starting off with um, the reed oak um, one. so we'll take him off of his seat because obviously that seeks out the kit and when you look at this with the new oh i can't think what that helmet is it's the, it's the new helmet that they use now where apparently the head-up display carries on in front of your eyes and you know you can fire a missile while looking at what your target is rather than having to get the nose on the target um Again, another really. This is how the figures come. So this this hasn't been uh, painted, washed, or anything. This is how they come straight out the box. There is a little uh, hose that attaches to here, or it's actually already attached. But um, to see him in the seat, it, it has to be snapped off because you just can't. It uh, he won't sit in the seat otherwise. Uh, these um, restraints, they're all right. Yeah, you can you can put a bit of. Uh, a tape or a bit of ribbon you know nylon ribbon around them but again what a work of art bloody unbelievable it really is absolutely stunning and uh and there we are and this this is the back seat um, let's, let's just get the the other chap because the other chap is the front seat uh, <clears throat> he's got a different pose they all have different poses by the way um, so, okay, well, here he is here. So this is the actual pilot. And you can see, like, he does sit in the seat fairly well. And that's the trumpeter kit seat. Um, tends to not sit very well in the Avionics 32 upgrade NACI seat. Because the seat seems to be a bit too small. And the head box bashes all on his shoulders and pushes him out the seat so uh i wouldn't use him with those seats um i can show you because i think i've still got the seats here hang on let's just put him down for a sec uh, to show you exactly what i mean um there it is so so here's the avionic seat right and if i try to get him to sit in there he does but see where the head box comes. So you'd either have to sand that down to get him a bit lower in the chair. But he, he doesn't, if you just put him in the chair, he doesn't stay in the chair like he does the trumpeter one. And then, like I say, the head box just is, is no good. They're not, I don't, I don't really rate them seats anyway. I think, uh, like I say, we're for him to sit properly. Good. God, does anybody else have this trouble? <laughs> anyway, uh, where were we? Yeah, so anyway, so there we are. So that's, um, that's, a, that's a close up look at his face. And look at him, bloody fantastic. It's a shame that I'm gonna ruin him. <laughs> Cause I don't think my painting's all that on pilots. I, I've, I'm trying my best, I'm trying to do a, um, a couple of figures at the moment and uh, you know 
Dear, oh dear. <clears throat> anyway, um, it puts you off, doesn't it? You know, really bloody kids. Anyway, fantastic. He's fully detailed. He's got everything on him. Everything the modeler needs. So that's the Reed Oak 32 F18 Super Hornet crew for the two seater. And then a final look at the last one, which is a um, painted seat with a primed pilot for the French Mirage 2000 in 32. And this is Eric Jolly's seat that's been painted uh, for the moment. There's no decals put on it yet. Um, I haven't got round to that bit yet. I'm still deciding as to whether this was the right colour to paint the seat. I think it is because it's XF66 in the Tamiya paints. And according to the reference book with the pictures I've got, it does seem to be like the right colour. So, you know, I'll just finalise it and tidy it up before it goes into the aircraft. But um, there's the pilot. Um, I don't think he's... I think I had a better colour when I first sprayed him. This is his second coat of spray paint for the desert outfit that he wears. And then they wear a lot of, you know, green um, uh, G-suit. And uh, survival rest is usually green, but um, yeah. But again, that's Reed Oak in Eric Jolly's ejector seat. Both items, 3D printed, both items, superb, top stars all the way through. Uh, and yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's great. Well done, lads. Um, thank you very much from all the modelers to you for producing. Such works of art for us to put in our jets. Bloody brilliant. Anyway, that's the pilots. That's the seats. That's me. <laughs> Keep modelling and uh, we'll see you soon. So uh, on for the next video. Um, don't know what that'll be. Probably another one on, maybe on the sub. I've got to do some weathering on the sub to show people how to weather. Um, but um, yeah, we'll have a look. Wait and see. Anyway, enjoy your modelling and stay safe. See you soon. Bye.